Hey guys, it's Austin from The Car Scene, and today I have a really great vehicle. It's a 2023 Toyota Crown Platinum. It's a very rare trim level, very hard to find, has the best powertrain. And today I'm gonna to give you a super in-depth walk-around tour on absolutely everything about this vehicle. This is gonna be a long video. If you wanna see a shorter one, I did just do a quick review. So that way you can just get a quick overview on the features, the layout, and the way that this thing looks. But if you're a nerd and you wanna see everything that this car has to offer, please stay tuned. Enjoy the video. So guys, we will start this in-depth tour up here with the front-end styling. First thing I want to go over is the obvious, the two-tone coloration on this car. I said it in the shorter video, but I mean it again. The best way I know how to describe this car is a domino. It has the white on black, and it looks absolutely amazing. It is truly a different style, a different approach from anything that Toyota's given the U.S. market in the past. Previously, we actually had the Avalon as our full-size um, luxury sedan, and this one is a complete opposite approach. You'll notice here, we do have the really nice Toyota Crown badging right there in the headlights. Lots of attention to detail in this vehicle. You've got that full LED swoop that goes right through the middle. You'll notice this is where your radar cruise control sensor is. You do have your 360 camera system right here. You also have your uh, parking sensors for detecting objects. And then you'll notice the grill. The grill is completely different. It's not nearly as open as a lot of the previous Toyotas have been. And part of that is that this is a hybrid. The other part is just simply looks. It looks really cool. It's got this really cool diamond effect to it. It looks absolutely astonishing. No fog lights on the new Crown, which is an interesting approach. A lot of people love fog lights, have liked them for a long time, and see them as a high-end product. So it's interesting that Toyota has decided to take them away from their absolute highest vehicle that they make. You'll notice here, these are your Michelins. They're wrapped around a 21-inch platinum exclusive wheel that looks really, really great. It's got this machine finish that looks really awesome. You can't see it. It's just got all those little lines in it from the machining process. And then you'll notice the black paint with the Toyota badge in the middle. Looking at the tire, it's got a decent tread pattern. This is an all-wheel drive vehicle, so you can't expect it to go in the snow, in the sand, a little bit of mud. You're not going to take this vehicle heavy off-roading, obviously. It is a luxury car. But looking at your windshield, you'll notice your VIN number right here. And this is actually the heating coil for the... Uh, heating of the windshield that we'll go over when we get inside. But basically what that does in cold climates is heat the bottom of the windshield. That way your wiper blades don't stick to the glass, uh, basically preventing more wear and tear on the vehicle than what's needed. Looking at the mirrors, they do have a nice LED indicator, a nice black top finish, as well as a, another camera for your 360 parking system. Looking at the black trimming that's along here, it is a really high gloss black, much higher gloss than this black plastic that's down below. You can tell the black plastic is there uh, as a utility item and the gloss black plastic is there to really show the effect of the high quality of the car. Once again looking at your wheels and tires are the same in the rear. Moving around the back of the car just give you a quick zoom out you know view of the vehicle. It has this really cool Grand, Pou Grand uh, Coupe swooping roof like a lot of the BMWs and Audis do from the German manufacturers. A full LED light ring that goes all the way around the back of the car. It looks really great. You can tell this car from a mile away because of that. And you've got the nice spaced out crown badge. You'll notice a lot of Japanese manufacturers are moving to that spaced out logo. I first saw it on a Nissan Rogue back in 21, and it just makes the car upscale. You do have the Hybrid Max logo, which is the biggest piece of the Platinum that so many people are looking forward to is the different powertrain. Most of these are the 2.5 liter naturally aspirated hybrid, and this is a 2.4 turbo. It makes a lot more power, makes the car a lot more exciting for many, many buyers. More parking sensors along the rear. Interesting note here, you do have a rear backup camera with a little sprayer. So when you're in reverse and you click the uh, misting feature, which I'll show you when we get inside, you'll actually spray that mirror or that camera off. Nice little metallic accent along the back there. 
and let's see if we can figure out how to open the trunk. Boom, right there, that little button right there, that's how you open the trunk from the exterior of the crown. Now inside the trunk, this one does have the cargo net. It's a nice wide, tall opening. It does actually have these swing arms though, so keep that in mind when you're loading up this trunk real full. Those arms swing down quite a bit, so if you're packing this trunk super, super full, something to keep in mind. Looking inside this trunk, it's very deep, very large. The seats do fold, of course. You can pull these little tabs and fold them down. And then you do have these little access points for, you know, lights and those sort of things. Here's your front license plate bracket. You do have the Toyota Crown badging there. Let's see, just real quick, what we have under the floor. So under the floor, we do have a full-size spare with the tool kit and a jack so that you can change out the spare tire on this vehicle. Um, I wasn't sure what I really expected, but, you know, Toyota did not disappoint with that at all. Looking over on the right side, this is where your battery is. Nice and easy to get, you know, a hold of, easy to change out if you ever need to. One thing I am noticing, this is a $54,000 sedan, and it's a manual trunk. A uh, very interesting move on Toyota's part. Maybe it's something that they'll update over the next couple of years, but only time will tell. You will notice the really big JBL audio system that's there in the back window as well, as well as your rear LED light. But overall, in terms of the exterior, very clean looking, very good looking car. At least very little to be desired. And I think for the type of buyer that Toyota's, you know, coming after with this vehicle, it definitely suits the market well. Climbing into the rear seats next, we'll go over rear seat comfort as well as the convenience features that it offers. So first things first, climbing inside, let's talk about comfort. This seat is all the way back and it's leaned back fairly far. But as a 5'8 adult, still have you know plenty of room for my knees, a little bit of room for my feet. Do have heated rear seats as well as you know my power windows. One thing that I really love about this vehicle is the rose gold trimming that's all around the interior. It's in the rear, it's in the front, it's all over the dash. And then you have a fold down armrest here that's extremely convenient. It does have two cup holders and they're very high quality cup holders. You've got little carpet pieces in there. You've got spring loaded uh, things right there. I mean, just a really nice, comfortable setup in the rear seat here. You've got your air vents and your USB ports right there for connectivity. So you don't have to worry about charging at all. Take a quick look at your window sticker here. This vehicle was built in Japan. It's called Oxygen White, by the way, in case you're wondering. You can see your mechanical specs. I told you 340 horsepower. There's your fuel economy numbers in case you're interested. And then here are the options that GST, the distributor of this vehicle, has put on for a grand total of 55,521. But just a really, really beautiful package. A really, really great car. I'm going to get it turned on here in a second so we can feel the AC and play with some of the electronical features. But, you know, a very comfortable rear seat inside of a very nice full-size luxury sedan. You will notice these nice little LED lights. Obviously, it's daytime, so you're not going to see a lot of light up. But it gives you an idea of what's back here and what to expect. You do have these really nice floor mats back here, though, that are kind of woven. A little higher quality than what you'd see in some other vehicles. Of course, the Toyota light that puddle light when you open the door that shines straight down. Yeah, just a really phenomenal looking vehicle. Coming around to the driver's side, I'm going to step in the seat, we're going to power this bad boy up and we're going to check out everything. Before we climb in, we're going to do the proper startup routine of putting on our seatbelt first so that this doesn't beep at us. And it might still beep. Only a little half beep, look at that. All right, so looking at your driver's door, you can see that we do have memory seats here, two-stage memory seats. We do have our automatic headlights to the right of that, along with our defrost feature that I was telling you about on the outside, air vent right above that. And then right under that, you actually have your power folding mirrors. Now, what's cool is you can leave them on auto. When the vehicle is locked, the mirrors will fold in. When the vehicle is unlocked, they'll fold out. Um, power windows right behind that, they are auto up down on both the front and the rear, which makes them extremely convenient. Now, looking at your full digital gauge cluster, you can see right now we're in EV mode. We'll use the buttons on the steering wheel, which real quick, this is what they look like, to go through and see what the different modes are, see what you can change out. Looks like we've got three different setups for gauges in terms of what, you, what information you want to see. And when you change the mode, actually, you'll see that you'll change the gauge setup as well. So we have Eco. Um, we do have Comfort as well. Let's see what Comfort looks like in terms of gauges. We've got sport, I'm sorry, normal sport S, 
Sport S Plus. And in case you couldn't hear, the motor actually started up when I put it into Sport, um, which gets pretty exciting. You can see completely different, you know, gauge washover when we change it to Sport Plus. And then you have paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. One interesting move that Toyota did, and I'll get in more into this when we go under the hood, is that this has a six-speed automatic as opposed to having a eCVT like many of Toyota's hybrids in the past. Looking right here, you've got your fuel door release, your trunk release, your hood release, and then, of course, the adjustment for your steering wheel. Another interesting move from Toyota here, a manually adjustable steering wheel column. You do have that knee airbag as well, and then the nice pedals down below. You'll notice right here in your center infotainment, we'll hit English, we'll go through the process. But this is a 12.3-inch uh, display. It does have the JBL audio system. It does have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You do have all of your settings as well as your driving profiles that are part of this new Toyota multimedia so that you can you know, save your settings and your presets and everything and move them with you from car to car. You'll notice your volume knob right below that. Small little pet peeve is that it turns with the volume knob. Now, everything that negates that is just the quality of this knob. This is that nice rose gold metal looking trimming. And you'll notice that same trimming all along the dash. And then right below that, two air vents, your dual zone climate with your cooled seats, your heated seats, everything that you need to be comfortable. Right below that is your wireless charger with some pinchers. You put your phone in there vertically, it'll charge up. You've got your uh, camera button right there, which is nice and handy. And actually, there's a really cool feature I'll show you here in just a minute when we put it into reverse that actually makes this an invisible car when you're using the camera system. Right next to that is your two USB ports, a little storage area right in front of that, two cup holders, and then, of course, your shifter. Now, if you're not familiar with Toyota hybrids, this shifter is real simple. It's to the left and back for drive or forward for reverse, which this is the really cool feature that I wanted to show you, is that you can actually make this car, I don't know why it's, oh, it's because we're in neutral, there we go. This car will go invisible. And what I mean by that is as you back up, it will hide or show you and remember the terrain that you're driving over. So really, really cool feature there actually uh, from, from Toyota but just gives you a whole different perspective on how a 360 camera system can work. It shows you exactly what's underneath the car at all times. To put it in park, real easy, just push the park button. You do have traction control, your parking brake, and your auto brake hold. Two cup holders, and then your cantilever center armrest, which is really, really nice. You ha do have USB and a 12 volt in there. And by the way, here's our crown key. Wanted to show you guys this real quick. Little sliding shelf right here, pretty handy. And because the reason I say it's a cantilever is because it opens on both sides. So the passenger can open it, the driver can open it, does not care. You've got your Toyota Crown key fob here with your lock and unlock feature there as well. And then you'll notice our glove box with all of our accessories in it. This one does have the paint renewal cleaner, the connectivity kit, and of course your regular Toyota Crown books. What I want to show you next is under the hood. I want to talk about the powertrain on this vehicle because it's one of the most interesting parts of this car. Before we do that real quick, I want to just hit on a few more things while we're inside the vehicle. You do have your regular uh, mirror with your home link right underneath. It's interesting that they didn't give us an option for a digital mirror. It might be because this isn't an SUV and they thought you're always going to be able to see out of that back window, but just an interesting touch that I noticed. One of the nice features is this power shade. You basically can close the entire roof if it's too sunny. Interesting feature though is that there is no power rear window shade. Um, a lot of the luxury sedans, including this car's predecessor, the Avalon, have that rear window shade. Um, so it's interesting that Toyota made the move to make this crown not have that feature. Now maybe it's because we're, you know, this is the first model year and they didn't want to give us that feature yet, but like I said, just an interesting touch on a $55,000 car. So popping the hood, nice and easy. Just push the bar to the left. Hood opens right up. You'll notice our 2.4 liter turbocharged engine that's in the Highlander. Now what's interesting is what's to the right of that because it's an electric motor and a six speed automatic. Now I'll first go over all of your components under here first for maintenance items. You can see your turbo hidden right there on the back with that nice little uh, thing there to keep everything nice and cool, keep the firewall from catching fire. You've got your fuse box here, two different coolant reservoirs, one for your turbo uh, slash intercooler and one for your actual engine. You do have your dipstick right there. There's your type of oil for it. And by the way, if you guys want to see what these stickers are, you can do that. Dipstick right there. Intake pipe there. Move over. I'll show you more stickers, by the way, under the hood. 
in case you guys are interested in those stickers. I know a lot of people have been commenting saying that they want to see all the stickers that are on the vehicle and read through everything. So I understand. Uh, right here's your brake fluid for you. You can see another uh, set of relays and fuses, little ECU module there. And here is your six speed automatic slash electric motor setup uh, that gives you the hybrid power. You'll notice your air box there for your air intake filter. But yeah, overall, a really, really interesting and phenomenal car. Interesting, I saw it on the last crown that we did on the channel, but right here are your washer sprayers, which are very, very interesting. It's interesting that they put them there. Um, never really seen that before. And what's cool is it gives you a completely flat hood with nothing on it. I'll just give you a quick look at that from the top side. That way you can see everything. If you guys have any other questions, please leave them down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the channel, enjoying the videos that I make for you guys. Hopefully you're finding them uh, educational, informative, and of course, entertaining to watch. Yeah, just a really beautiful car here, guys. I can't imagine that these won't sell well. Um, the Toyota fan base is extraordinarily loyal. Not only loyal, but excited when Toyota makes changes because they take forever to make changes. And when they do, it's typically a huge leap forward. Take a look at the new Tundra. It was way behind the competition in the old generation. And when the new generation came out, it became the gold standard for what a full-size truck should be. And now all the competition is basically just trying to catch up. So this vehicle is a prime example of that mentality. The Avalon, kind of older, kind of different, not really what people were wanting anymore. And then they came out with this. And this is a completely radical change from what the Avalon was. Uh, it's higher up, it's more muscular, has more space, and it's in a completely different price bracket which makes it even more luxurious. Now, I know a lot of people in the comments are going to say, well, Austin, why shouldn't I get a Lexus over this? Quite frankly, it's because Lexus doesn't make anything this advanced yet. They do have a few vehicles that are available, like the ES Hybrid line, you know, that's similarly priced with a lot of great features, but it doesn't have this exact powertrain. You can't get, you know, the radical different powertrain that's in this vehicle. You can't get the radically different interior that's in this vehicle. So there's definitely a lot of reasons to love or hate this vehicle depending on what you're trying to do with it thank you guys for watching if you have any questions please leave them down below please like the video if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more in-depth walkarounds like this one i'm planning on doing a lot more of these that way more people can get more information more quickly thanks for watching have a great day y'all